A shopkeeper earns a profit of 12% on selling a book at 10% discount on the printed price. The ratio of course price to the printed price of the book is. Here, profit is 12% means profit means plus. So, 12% means 12 by 100. 4 goes 3 times in 12, 4 goes 25 times in 100. Now, plus 3 by 25 means if 25 part is the course price, then 25 plus 3 28 part is the selling price. This is the meaning of 12 percentage profit. Now there is a 10 percentage discount on the printed price. Discount is on the printed price. Now discount means minus. So 10 percentage means 10 by 100. Now minus 1 by 10 means if 10 part is the printed price. Because discount is on the printed price. If 10 part is the mark price or printed price. That means price tag. Then 10 minus 1, 9 part is the selling price. If 10 part is the price tag, then 9 part is the selling price. Now we need to take the ratio of course price and the printed price. So first write the course price here. Course price is to selling price here is equal to 25 is to 28. Then here Take the ratio of selling price and mark price. Selling price and mark price. Because we can cancel this selling price. That is 9 is to 10. Now you can see selling price, selling price cancel. Finally we got course price is to mark price. So here 5 goes 2 times in 10. 5 goes 5 times in 25. Now 9 into 5 is 45 and 28 into 2 is 56. So option A is your answer. That is course price is to mark price is 45 is to 56. Now if you want to do this question in different way, consider course to price as 100 rupees. Then sell price must be 112 rupees because there is a profit of 12 percentage. Now, there is a 10 percentage discount on the printed price. So, I will consider mark to price as Y. Now, you can see there is a 10 percentage discount on the mark to price or printed price. So, 10 percentage discount gives you sell price 112 rupees. That means 90 percentage of Y is equal to 112. Then, Y is equal to 112 into 100 by 90. Then if I take cost price is to mark price ratio. Cost price here is 100 rupees and mark price is y. y is equal to 112 into 100 by 90. Now 100, 100 cancel. 2 goes 56 times in 112. 2 goes 45 times in 90. Then your ratio is 45 is to 56. So, option A is your answer. Either you can do this way or you can take the ratio directly.